Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a follow on from last week and in this week's video I'm going to be installing my DIY hot water system in the van. If you haven't watched a previous video you might want to check that one out first. I showed you how to build a hot water chlorifier, what it is, how it works, why I've chosen this option. This hot water system has cost under £100 so far so it might be an option for you if you are looking to make a hot water system for your van but don't want to fork out hundreds, even thousands of pounds on an expensive hot water system. The first job is to make a support for the back of the chlorifier. It's already supported at the front by the expansion vessel and the pipework, but to be safe I just want to have a block underneath here to support it at the back end. And then we can go about installing this in the van and connecting up the secondary pipework. We've got our cold feed coming in the bottom here with an isolation valve, and then our hot supply comes off the top of the chlorifier through this isolation valve here, and then out to the hot taps. All the pipe work in the van's already run, so we can install this quite easily now. I've just drawn a line here where the bottom of the chlorophyll will sit, and I'm just going to stick a block of wood underneath it. I'm just going to use a bit of silicon to stick this in. Let's connect up our hot feed going out to the taps. That's this pipe here. Olive on the pipe. And let's put that in there. Let's chop it down a little bit more. So once we've got that fitting on there, it's going to bring it all the way over there. So we need to bring it in to about there. Let's cut it down. Undo it, push it on, and then tighten it up. <laughs> Easy as that. I love these uh, push fit connectors, they're so quick and easy. Let's cut our hot pipe down to go in the bottom. I'm using secateurs for this, about there. You get one of these pipe inserts that goes in like that, and then that goes in the bottom. Make sure it's all the way in, and then tighten it up. Let's get our spanner and tighten this up. Make sure that olive's bitten into the pipe. Okay, and that's our hot pipe connected. I've probably still got some water in the system, so I'm just going to take off this end cap and let out any water. Watch your fingers. Now I'm going to get my pipe insert. I've got my copper olive on there. That bit. That goes in there get that in the end pull that up we've got our flow in connected underneath here and we've got our flow out connected on the top of the chlorifier now we just need to run our drain to the outside of the van so I need to drill a hole through the floor run a pipe going through the floor to the outside and then that way we've got a nice convenient place to drain the chlorifier this is the safety valve on the top. So if it overpressurizes, then it will be safely discharged through this pipe to the outside of the van. Let's drill a small pilot hole all the way through to make sure that we're not gonna go through the chassis or anything. I have had a look underneath the van. It looks to be all right. Okay, so it's there. So I'm actually gonna move it over a little bit when I cut the hole, just so I know it's uh, away from this. Although I'm still going to drop the pipe all the way down here so it's clear of the chassis. Bit of spray paint just to protect the metal from this side. Now I'm going to put my copper pipe through there. 
push the glorifier back. Get that in there. And then tighten that on. That's our pipe coming through. Let's not forget to paint the bare metal. I'm not talking about the copper, I'm talking about the steel around the hole. Plenty of paint in there. I'm now going to start filling the chlorifier up to check for leaks. So I'm going to crack the supply valve in at the bottom there. Pump it in and we're filling the cylinder. So that's taking the cold water from the main tank and filling the chlorifier through the bottom. Through there. The system's up to pressure on the secondary side, so I now just need to let the air out of it. Let's vent it through the safety valve here. Pumps kick back in because we let a bit of pressure out. Let that build up. And I just want to vent it until water starts coming out of the safety valve, and that way we know it's full all the way up to this point up here. Okay, water's starting to come out now, so we know that the chlorophyll is full on the secondary side. I'll have a good look around it now for any leaks. I'm going to let the water out into the system to our kitchen taps and the shower mixer, and then I'm going to look around the van for any leaks. Hopefully we don't have any, but let's pressurise the pipe work and see. There's only one way to find out. We're now pressurising all the pipe work up to the shower mixer and the sink. Let the air out. Our system is now full and vented on the secondary side and we haven't got any leaks throughout the van. So we're ready to connect our primary pipe work up and run the hoses to the engine. One last thing on the chlorifier, I need to fit this temperature controller. I'll probably mount this somewhere else in the van, uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna put it here for now. And then it's just our temperature sensor comes in this one here. That's our sensor connected. Turn it on. 14.2 degrees at the moment. Let's drill a couple of holes through the floor where our hoses come through. Right, sometimes it's better to just go and buy the right tool. This is completely blunt now from all the other drilling I've done. So I've got myself a new hole saw. Going for a 25 mil hole saw. This is a hose I'm going to be using. It's uh, designed for hot water, I guess. It looks exactly the same as the clear braided hoses you can get. I think this will be all right. We'll soon find out. So I'm going to run this from the front of my van to the back and just make sure I've got enough. I'm quite lucky with this van because it's very easy to see where things are. So this is our coolant reservoir right up here. Then we've got our heater matrix just here. I want to take this off and drain the coolant down just below the heater matrix so that we don't spill it everywhere. Take this off. Let's just drain as much out of here as we can. I think that'll do us. This pipe goes to the heat matrix here. You can see it goes through the bulkhead. So I'm just going to cut this in half. There might be a little bit of coolant left. But no, we're all good. We drained it low enough. I think I'm going to solder this piece into here. Um, and that way, I won't have to use so many Jubilee clips. Let's just put a little bit of flux on this fitting. That's 
fair amount. It's <laughs> quite a bit. So there we go, I've just soldered this T-piece on the bottom of this pipe. So we've got an isolation valve, excuse my rubbish soldering, um, but hopefully it don't leak. That's one of my hoses tapped into the heater matrix there. I've got my T-piece soldered onto an isolation valve and then my hose going back to the chlorifier. We've teed into our flow and return from the heater matrix. We've got a couple of isolation valves here so we can control our flow going out to the chlorifier. As well as using paint to protect the metal, it's a good idea to protect your hose using a, one of these rubber uh, grommets. Our hoses underneath the van now form part of the engine's cooling system, so it's really important to make sure that they're strapped up nicely and that they're not going to rub against the exhaust pipe or the prop shaft. Uh, two things to avoid, obviously the prop shaft spins and that could rub against the pipe and cause damage exhaust gets really hot that could melt through the pipe potentially i am going to come back and insulate these pipes fully from front to back as i think that will help with the heating efficiency um, so we don't get so much heat loss from these hoses but we'll try that and i'll show you once i've fully insulated the pipes but for now i've just strapped them up uh, at various points along the chassis The next job is to fill up these primary hoses with coolant from the engine. So I've got them closed at the moment, these valves. I'm gonna go turn on the valves at the other end um, and then come here and bleed it through. So we've got coolant up to the glorifier. Now, obviously we've got the hoses to fill up. So I'm gonna fill up my coolant bottle all the way to the top. I'm just gonna open the valves to the glorifier from the engine. That one's open. And that one's open. Let's bleed this one through. You can hear the air coming out. He doesn't want to know. Try and suck coolant up to here. To avoid getting a mouthful of coolant, just park it on a hill and let gravity do the work for you. Right, let's open this. And this. And there we go, our hot water chlorifier is warming up. We've got 15.9 in there at the moment. I'm going to take it for a run, let the engine get hot, and see what temperature we can achieve from the hot water system. It's worthwhile pulling over and just checking your connections at various points to make sure you haven't got any leaks like I have here and also just check your coolant level, make sure you've got enough in the system. Right, that's all fixed now. I've just used this compression tee instead, and it turns out that the 15 mil pipe goes inside this hose rather nicely. So if you've got the same van as me, it might be worth looking into um, some kind of 15 mil tee fitting, whether it be a soldered joint or compression. That one's held up at the back, so I'm gonna leave that in situ. After a short drive around my local area, I managed to achieve over 50 degrees in the glorifier. So I think it'd be very interesting to see what kind of temperatures we can achieve once we get on the motorway. But I'll be testing that in the next video, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Uh, click the alarm bell and that way you'll get notifications when I post new videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Oh, look at that. See the steam? Beautiful. Oh, can't even hold my hand under it. That is what you want.